Moxie versus Joy is, is being streamed by Corelli. Um, Rovas versus Drali will be streamed by Fear. Uh, that's assuming Drali actually checks in. Um, and Vatira versus Atto is streamed by Subpar, but in HD. Uh, definitely check, uh, check that out. Actually, no, I think that got replaced. Didn't Subpar but in HD get replaced, uh, if I remember correctly, Ben? It's actually, yeah, it's actually Corelli on that one. Um, so it looks like Wikipedia's not been updated properly, but... Yeah, Corelli's live right now with uh, one of the other matches in this round. Um, and yeah, so is Jorby and so is Fear. So yeah, definitely check those guys out. Show them some support for helping me and uh, helping the mainstream cover the action for Salt Mine 3. Now, Nas and Zen both one loss on the day. They need to pick up the pace if they're going to keep their push for the final round. Salt Mine 3 finals at the top seed. Nas early on with an opportunity there, but he skies it. And Zen now with the boost advantage. Going to try and force an opportunity for himself. Yeah, it's really awesome to see that you know Pogo shots, Pogo outplays, even Pogos into air dribbles are just straight up meta now. They're becoming more and more popular. I've seen a bunch of players use them with success. It's not just one of those things that a lot of players are trying and failing with. We've seen a lot of players succeed with them. So definitely something you can look out for. And that's has been Trying to keep up consistency recently. That's an unbelievable save from Zen and the air dribble bump. Nas has been trying to just stay consistent with his own game. He was able to you know, produce probably a more consistent performance than anyone else in stage two of the competition. But now, today, he's been questioned by Naupo. There's obviously nothing to be ashamed of there. Naupo's a great player. You know, Nas is... Uh, Historically, one of the players who's tough to play against in ones because he is just so consistent. He doesn't really give you any mistakes to work with. He might have made a mistake here. No, backs off and gives Zen no option for the demo. Nas used the physical play with a little bit of success against Daniel in the show match between Salt Mine Sages 2 and 3. That's a huge flick by Nas. Oh my goodness, it actually nearly hit the ceiling, or maybe it did hit the ceiling. He was trying to get Zen to dive in and take himself out of the game. Both players posturing for a 50-50 Nas. Oh, that's a quick look behind the ball to see where Zen is. And he snipes the flick over him. Very creative um, camera work there by Nas to spy where Zen was. And he was able to follow through with that flick on target. Um, yeah, I think Jory, I think uh, the Jorius match is being streamed by uh, Corelli. I, I got it wrong um, a second ago when I said it, but yeah, Moxie Jorius is by Corelli. Rawas Rally is by Fear. Um, if, it, if it happens, and Batira Atto is on Jorby's channel. So apologies for the initial misinformation there for myself. Uh, I think you know, Liquipedia is just a bit slow to update today, but go easy on them, because they are doing that. Um, and every other tournament update that you see in Liquipedia completely voluntarily, so we really have no reason to complain. Now, overextension by Zen, gives Nas the one goal lead back. Look at the time remaining in the game. We're actually inside the second half already. It doesn't feel like too much has happened in this game. But while all that has been going on, Nas has managed to produce seven shots to Zen's two. So a very low um, production game for Zen. He's not been able to Get too much going. Now Nas slows it down in defense, gets going with the lean back reset on the counter attack. Zen does stop that one and stops the follow up shot as well. Now it's his turn to counter attack with a whole lot more height on his air dribble. An early reset and a huge bite game by Zen. Oh my goodness, Nas completely falls for it. That's a monstrous mind game. Zen convinced him that the flick was coming. It's all about the positioning with his car. He made it look like he's about to pull the trigger on it. And Nas had absolutely nothing he could do. Oh, is there no prediction up for you guys? Sorry about that. I'll uh, I'll start one for you guys. You can kind of cheat here because you can already see that Zen is winning. But I mean, use that 
information as much or as little as you want to with your beams. Yeah, the prediction is for who wins the series. My prediction, personally, I have to back Nas. I think he recently has just been the more consistent player compared to Zen. Obviously, Zen, if he peaks, can beat anyone. Uh, but Nas had the stage two victory. He's 3-0 yesterday. And he's about to tie. He does tie 3-3. And Zen tries for a ceiling recovery and defense. He just didn't get enough speed um, on his way to the ceiling there in order to fall down in the way of the ball. Zen half flipping away from the kickoff and actually just beats Nas to it. Not the bounce he's looking for though. It's a pretty dangerous ball for Zen to think about going for it. Nas just sitting behind it in his back corner, hoping that Zen over overextends. Another glance around the ball by Nas and uh, attempts to drop off the ball off the front of his car to 50-50 it. Zen wants a ceiling shot. He's a lot more direct with his offense. That's the methodical approach. Zen just going for all-out pace and aggression. That's Nas with control again in his back corner. He's got double the shots to Zen in this matchup. Zen with a huge wall challenge to set up another opportunity on target. Blasts it. It's saved by Nas, whose boost is starting to run low. He's still got enough to attempt to counter-attack with, and now he's got plenty with the mid-boost grab. Shot is in for Nas with 14 seconds to go. Zen got a bit too close for comfort. He did not respect Nas' boost management, and he got a little bit tangled up with Nas' car as he was attempting to recover. It's a one-goal lead for the Moroccan. And Zen continues to struggle a little bit in this group. He's currently sitting fourth place in the group. That'll be enough, obviously, to get him into the top um, eight and make Salt Mine three finals, but it won't be with a top seed unless he can win here. And he'll obviously want to win this one convincingly. Here he comes with the shot off the wall. It's not going to work out, though. Zen miss hits it into the crossbar. And it's Nas with the game one victory. A close game, but pretty disappointing ending there for Zen. A lot of you, I'm sure, would have backed him to get that goal, but he just simply could not convert. Another reminder, if you haven't already used exclamation mark TNR in Twitch chat or scroll down to YouTube description to find the link for the next rank.com. Um, another notice as well that if the site's not working, don't worry, it will be back up. Just keep checking uh, later and you will be able to access the sign up page for the next rank.com. You'll be able to get uh, your hands on the 15% discount um, when the course releases. You'll also be able to get um, added to the email list and have access to all the videos that we're making for free uh, in the run-up to the release of the course. But yeah, I think it's still down, I believe. Let me just really quickly check for you guys. It was earlier. Um, we're trying to find out why, but it'll be back up uh, soon, I'm sure. Yes, it's still down. Um, but yeah, save that link, and I'm sure you can come back later and uh, get it working. Also, shout out uh, to Jotcast, the official podcast of Salt Mine 3. Uh, we've got bonus content being recorded in person. I know a lot of you guys liked it when we did that at the World, at the World Championship in Dusseldorf, but we're going to do it again. This time it's at the Solo Queue LAN event. Myself, Rizzo, CJ are all going to be there. So we uh, are going to use some of our spare time to record some uh, bonus episodes for you guys in person. Um, yeah, if you've got any topic suggestions, any questions you want to ask us, head over to the Chalkcast Discord and drop them in there. Let's enter the bar again and we finish off game one with a shot into the crossbar. Now he starts game two with a shot into the crossbar. And you can see that's kind of frustrated him as he just throws himself at another pretty speculative effort even for him. And that doesn't go in either. It's been troubling for Zen. He's not been able to produce the same consistency as we're used to seeing from him. That's much better though. And I wonder if this is the kind of style that Zen should be using to try and activate his flow state, just full um, speed all the time. You know, this is what he did when he first burst onto the scene. He didn't, you know, just hold down, he didn't tape down boosts and become predictable with it, but he was always playing fast. He was always backing himself to be the more mechanical player. And so far in game two, that is what he's been. But no, no, he's hit some post again. Well, it's a confident approach and a great setup, but Zen's accuracy has struggled. That's a great save on the air dribble bump though. He's, I mean, he's had the good plays in the setup. It's just been about the execution. 
Tins creating chances. He's uh, defending pretty well. But the clinical finishing is what's lacking for him right now. It's giving Nas opportunities to put the pressure on him. Nas dunks on him for 1-1. One, one. It's not a conventional dunk over the top of Zen. It's actually one underneath him. Great coverage by Nas. Completely denying Zen's clear. Go easing the ball into the bottom corner. People now just know more about Zen and his weak spots. I don't think that's what it is. I don't think uh, anyone's like, you know, downloaded Zen. I, I think it's more more a personal thing for Zen. His struggles. Oh my goodness, that's a great save by Nas. Zen's aerial shot was completely top corner. And Nas has still saved it. Yeah, I, I think it's personal for Zen. I think he's just struggled to, um, you know, activate his full potential that we've seen before. And... Um, that's what's allowing players to have more success against him predominantly. But, you know, even at his best, he was still, you know, pretty close to a few other players. Players like Rawas obviously had pretty good games against him. Moxie as well. And now, you know, there's just a larger uh, group of players who are finding success against him. Um, and yeah, part of that is the, uh, the improvement that some players have made. Nas is a great example of that. Oh my goodness, he almost dunks on Zen again to put himself ahead by two goals. Um, but yeah, it's also partly Zen just not playing to the same level. I mean, when would he have missed the... Uh, when would he have hit the crossbar and hit the post the way he has in the last two games um, in his winning streak run? He just mistimed that boost respawn slightly to not have the ability to save this shot by Nas. Great flick though by Nas. Plenty power on that one. 3-1 lead. Yeah, confidence is huge in, in Rocket League, especially in 1v1. So, you know, all it takes sometimes is one miss, one misplay, and confidence can go down the drain. Can say make a play work here. Yes, he can. That's more like it, with a perfect reset. And that's trying to lift in spirits a little bit with the compliment in the quick chat as well. That's great to see. Nas with the next kickoff win. Oh, he reads the early challenge by Zen easily. And flicks it over Zen's head. <laughs> That's a hilarious comment. Did Zen just get a girlfriend? That would slow a player down. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think he already had a girlfriend, actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, while he was winning everything. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame that. The girlfriend uh, debuff. <laughs> No, I, 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 I don't know what Zen's issues have been, but he, hey, he's starting to get some pretty good plays chained back to back right now. I mean, he's still there. We know that Zen's still in there somewhere because he keeps on effortlessly producing plays every now and then uh, to great effect. So that's what really makes me think it is just, uh, you know, his own confidence that's been lacking. That's a great trip though by Nas, who is certainly not lacking confidence uh, recently. You know, a lot of people are rightfully uh, questioning Nas after his loss to Daniel and thinking, will that, you know, does that indicate Nas's win in EU uh, Stage 2 was just a flash in the pan and he won't be able to replicate it, but so far what he's produced in Stage 3 would show and uh, suggest now, it wasn't a flash in the pan. It wasn't a one and done. It's in fact going to be, you know, more of an indication of what's to come from Nas. Yeah, you you, you can uh, you know you can definitely give credit to Daniel for the win against Nas. I think he played phenomenally well. Like in my opinion, when I saw that series, my estimation of Daniel's form went up, um, but I didn't really decrease. My estimation of Nas's form didn't go down. Um, I I I look at those kind of series. It's not really too much of an indication that you should be worried about a player on the losing end. Um, it's you know more of an indication of who, you know who's actually playing well with the win. Oh my goodness, set like 
Is he him or is he not? This is another great goal by Zed. With hardly any boost left. <laughs> In fact, no boost left. He perfectly slots the rebound. After a multi-touch air dribble. I mean, the quality of goals that Zen's produced in this game has definitely been there. Nas has just been too good, too efficient uh, with his possession play. Now, can Zen keep up the effectiveness of his attack? Nas crushes him. That's a monster challenge. And he booms in a seventh goal. Yeah, Zen just briefly lost control there. And Nas closed the distance before he could regain control of the ball. Yeah, I think uh, what, I'm, what I mean by the whole, like, I don't, I've not reduced, I've not put Nas down in my, you know, in individual power rankings when I saw that, but, you know, my estimation of Daniel's form has definitely gone up. I think if he, uh, if I was to guess where Daniel ranks right now, I think he would be S tier. Uh, you know, I've got him S tier uh, based on his current form. Um, uh, yeah, I probably, you know, put like three players from EU salt mine in there as well in S tier you know who well it depends on the results today Nas looking to close out the game comfortably here one last chance for Zen to keep it interesting he's got the pace in this play and he's got the fake but Nas recovers quickly and shuts the door in the near post makes it 8-4 and Zen unsurprisingly calls next Drops back to zero, and he continues to speed run the group. It's been a very interesting group for Zen, but not in a good way. He's won two series 3-0, and he's lost two series 3-0, and he's on track to lose another one 3-0. These losses have been much more one-sided than we've come to expect from Zen. When he does lose, he tends to keep it close. He tends to you know, still look like himself. And This isn't the usual Zen. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm not going to... Pretend to you guys that he's still, uh, you know, at, at his best or even close to his best. He's got a lot of work to do if he's going to win the series. He's got a lot of work to do if he wants to uh, be a real contender to win next week in Salt Mine 3 finals. Uh, Moxie's one up on Jarius, by the way. Vatira one up on Atto. And uh, Drali versus Ruas yet to start. I don't think uh, Drali has uh, checked in. So yeah, Dr yeah, actually, that's a forfeit in game one for um, Drally, who's not yet checked in today. Hope everything's good with him. Um, yeah, a bit of a shame for the rest of the group because Drally's now forfeited 3 0 to Moxie, 3 0 to Vatira, um, and about to forfeit to Ruas as well. Um, yeah, main shame there is for Jorius. Drally beat him, and then he's just not shown up against anyone else. So Jorius is going to feel uh, pretty hard done by there, but. What can you do? He, uh, you know, he didn't get the wins in the other series he needed to win anyway, so I don't think he's going to be too upset. Um, right now he's got to worry about uh, Moxie, of course, as well. Nice. Confident challenge by Zen to kick off game three. Really nice block, actually. Nas saw the challenge coming at the last second, and Zen is still able to get a good hitbox facing the ball to cover a lot of the angles. Yeah, if I had to uh, guess right now, you know who, who's going to be the S tier going into the final stage of the competition? I, I do still think Nas is going to be uh, one of the favorites to win the whole thing. I do still think that uh, Rawas is going to be one of the favorites to win the whole thing. But yeah, I think Moxie as well. You can't really count out Moxie. I think Moxie, Rawas and Nas look like the three most consistent in EU overall. Although, you know, Dark Horse is Vatira actually. Vatira beat Moxie yesterday, so I think Vatira could be next in line actually. TRK as well, also looking very good. Naipo, I mean you can never cut out Naipo. I mean can we cut out Zen? I don't think so. Really you can't cut out anyone in, e in EU. Hey, literally anyone who makes sell my three finals could show up and win the whole thing. Yeah, current form definitely has some of them ahead of the rest of the pack. Can Zen rise up to the level we know he has 
within him. 55 boost to his name. Nas jumps in and asserts his authority in the position. But great boost management by Zen to not just survive and actually maybe threaten a counter. Nas has completely boxed him in on these last two plays though. Zen finding a difficult time getting out of defense. Nas actually showed him a window out there though. He didn't go for the boost deal and instead played for a more aggressive option which didn't pan out. So it is going to be Zen in control. Taking the ball back into his own half. Zen pings it off the wall. I think he was looking to get the side wall there. Actually, accidentally bounced clear. So it's going to be Nas's ball. Zen up quickly here. Mid-air battle by both players. They match each other pretty well, but Nas holds on to the ball. And Nas thinking about the ceiling shot threat from distance. Zen goes for a challenger in reverse. That's a great effort from him. He's got enough boost left over to make a play, but Nas saves the initial one. And he can't get back to the follow-up though. Zen breaks through. He did have a boost deficit in that position, but a low boost flip reset forced a bad enough save. Zen could loop back around and score his second goal of the game. Nas again in the midfield. This time plays for the ground game. Once more, he's got a good eye for seeing where Zen is, but he might have conceded here. He has indeed. Zen on the counter. Goes up 3-1. He's still fighting for this one. Even though he's a long way back. Zen trying to do the impossible. Reverse sweep. Assault Mine Stage 2 champion. Zen pops it over Nas in the midfield. It will be Nas who's got control here. No, Zen actually just going to stick around on zero boost. Might have to bail now though. And Nas immediately switches sides. This great angle with the dribble. Fakes a hook shot and gets dominated in the challenge. Well, Nas did, Nas did not see that one coming from Zen. Zen just shut down the shooting angle, closed the distance, and got right through the ball with the 50-50. So we're two minutes to go. Can, uh, can Zen close the deal? Does win the race to the mid boost again. So it's a good position for Zen. Fakes the wall play, fakes the infield play as well, and then does indeed go for the wall play. Flip reset from Zen, tries to cover Nas's challenge. He's just about done so. And Nas trips him up and steals his boost away. Nas with a reset. Zen with a huge save. Not a lot of boost for him, but does so well. Keep control there. Now no boost for Zen. Nas has plenty. Off the wall he goes. Flip reset. But a bit too low on the ball. Nas not really threatening too much here. Zen scores his fifth goal of the game. Suddenly, things are starting to look a little bit brighter in Zen's camp as he puts together more and more game wins for himself. More and more goals, I should say, for himself. Game wins, possibly. It was that a leak of the script. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Huge double tap off his own post from Zen to save Nas's flip reset attempt. There's going to be a forfeit from Nas. Zen on the board for the first time in this group. Zen is not handing out or receiving a sweep. Actually crazy to think about that, though. He was, <laughs> he was just one game away from the fastest possible group uh, run. I don't think we've ever seen that before. It's mostly been close matches in Salt Mine 3, but Zen gets it done this time. He's on the board. I remember he does still have a chance to uh, to win the entire group. Oh, actually, no, he might not anymore. In order to win the entire group, Zen needed to catch up on Naupo's game win-loss differential. I don't think he can anymore, because Naupo's currently plus two. The best Zen could do is plus one. Yeah, so there's actually no way for him to win the... Oh, no, okay, he could. Toxic could beat Naupo. Busy could beat TRK. Uh, and Zen can get to plus one. No, I don't think there's any way that you can get back ahead of... Yeah, no way you can get back ahead of Nas or TRK. The, the, the game and loss is just too too significant. So yeah, it's going to be going to be difficult to get into the top spots in the overall standings. It's very, very close though. Very, very close. It might come down to a tiebreaker of who got the points more recently. 
between TRK and Zen. But before you can even, you know, think about that, before you can even wonder, is he going to get a tie-break win to get a top four seed? He's got to actually reverse sweep now. So let's take it one step at a time from Zen's POV. Elsewhere, of course, while this is happening, we do have other matches. Moxie 2-0 up on Jorias. Matira 2-0 up on Atto. And uh, Rawas 2-0 up on Drali. That is a forfeit again from Drali, though. If he doesn't appear in the next four minutes, he'll be uh, forfeiting the remainder of that series as well. Zen looks like a changed man. That's a great save. Even deflecting the ball into a position to set up a counter-attack. And it's 1-0 Zen. As he continues to claw his way back into the series here. That's why you can never take anything for granted in 1v1. You can never just assume that the form for a player is going to stay the same from the start of a series till the end. That's a bit of a risky play there by Zen, though. Nas was clearly beating him to the ball, but he decided to go anyway and hope Nas hit it into him. Nas too smart to do that, just pops it over. And tight, tight game for now, but Zen with a fake shot across the goal. And then a slot to the bottom corner at the far post. Look at this positioning by Zen. He pulls away from the ball, makes it look like he's going to shoot it behind Nas. And then just waits a little bit longer for the ball to roll past him. Shoots it right in front of the Moroccan. 2 1 Zen. Just one boost for Nas. How's he going to use it? There it is. Oh, what a save by Zen! That would have been the best one boost shot I've ever seen from Nas. But now he's been tripped up at Zen with the open net. And he's got enough time to take another shot at this one. 3 1 Zen with a huge defensive stand. Well, Nas will be disappointed because that was about to be the best one boost goal. Probably in 1v1 history. Actually, maybe not. There's probably like, a couple of other good one boost goals. Zen's consistency is way better now than it was earlier on in the series. What a change he's been able to make to his game. This is very promising for his chances. Even if he doesn't get a top four seed going into Salt Mine 3 finals next week, the fact that he can fight from behind is huge. It's going to be you know, very beneficial for him when he does get to next week's matches. Nas has overextended. Zen on the counter-attack now. And he's slotted another one. Nas can't get back. And it's 4-1. Zen looking good. Looking a lot better than he was earlier. Nas starting to have some problems with him. That might be another problem for Nas. It's a kickoff goal for Zen. It's 5-1. And all of a sudden, Zen looks to be in control of the series completely. I mean, this really is bizarre because Nas forfeited the last game with you know, a fair bit left in the clock. It was a pretty decent forfeit, but still had a long way to go. Now we've got even longer to go. And he's down by a similar scoreline. Nas is dead in the water in the midfield here. Zen completely crushes him in the challenge. Dives straight in and gets into position for yet another aerial play. Dealing shot, followed up by a 50 for Zen. Beats Nas to the punch after the fact as well. Zen was too early for the mid-move pickup, had to back off. Still charges back into the play. And shuts down Nas once again. This is the kind of confidence that we're missing earlier on from Zen. Where he was hesitating and where he was missing his opportunities. Now he's starting to take them and now he's starting to play with the conviction which he lacked earlier on. Effective shadowing by Zed. Nas, almost own goals, but he has hit his own post. Oh, that's a great counter-attack by Nas. Oh, well done! To catch back up to this one. Didn't look like he had much to work with here, but Zed overstepped the mark. He thought Nas was going to take it to his back corner for the boost. Nas instead just went straight down the middle of the pitch and scores his second goal of Game 4. Can he make it three? Reset for Nas. Double tap attempt. And it's top corner. What a goal by Nas. At full speed and at full stretch as well. Flip reset and then a pre-flip double tap. That could not have been closer to the top corner if he tried. 
And that's definitely underrated mechanically, I would say. Has Zen missed that one? No, he hasn't. Okay, he slots it in bottom left. If he missed that, it was going to go into Nasa's control in the back corner as well. It's another kickoff goal for Zen. He's had a couple this game. Nas struggling against Zen's kickoff in game four. You know, after you scored a worldie like that, it's got to be pretty annoying to concede immediately and have all of that hard work cancelled out. Zen with another cheeky delayed kickoff. Wants to floor pinch off the back of this, but Nas has control. Zen says no to the boost steal. He said place for the safer mid boost grab. Fake challenge. And now he's going for a double tap off his own backboard. Of course he gets it. Nas with full respect, he was already retreating after seeing Zen flying into position. Zen quick challenge, successful challenge. Shutting down another Nas aerial play. Both players tied at eight shots each for this game. It's been a pretty even one when it comes to the realistic chances to score. So nine shots for Nas, but can he make it 10? Can he make it four goals? It's a ceiling shot attempt. Zen with a ceiling recovery and defense as well. Nas just too late with the bump there. He's got the faster recovery though, and does score a fourth goal. Well, he was too late to bump Zen before Zen's touch on the ball, but Zen's touch did not go clear. So the bump did end up being impactful. Still a long way to go in game four. Zen's lead starting to look vulnerable. Nas has control once again. Fakes a shot, catches, keeps an eye on Zen with ball cam. Oh, what a save by Zen though. And that's another save on a Nas air dribble bump. And Nas is excellent at air dribble bumps. Zen hits him on the counter and makes it 7-4 with another effortless flip reset. I think Zen's He's making me, uh, you know, I, I'm obviously a big fan of Zen, big, fa uh, big fan of all the players in this tournament, but what I really want to see from um, all the best players in Rocket League is, you know, close to Prime. So this is making me think that he can produce Prime Zen when it matters most next week. Regardless of the outcome of this series, the fact that he's gone 3-0 down and now still fighting back, still producing some of his best plays. I know that for all of you Zen fans, that's going to be what you want to see from him as well. That could be forfeit from Nas. Zen's gone under him again, and it is indeed a forfeit. 9-4. Zen with two extremely convincing wins in an attempt to reverse sweep stage two champion. What a terrible day that would be at the office for Nas. He's already lost once. And Zen could be about to hand him a reverse sweep loss to think about as well. Looks like we do have some other results to report to you guys. Let's take a look at what we've got. Um, Moxie 2 1 on Jarius. Jarius trying to come back against Moxie. Got one game there um, after initially losing two. Atto also picks up a game against Fatira after losing two. And uh, yeah, we're obviously 2-2 two, two here. It's 3-0 Rawas over Drally. That is another forfeit uh, loss for Drally, who just didn't check in today. I think he might have just done enough in the last stage of the competition, finishing second place. Uh, might have just done enough to secure a Salt Mine 3 final spot. But yeah, he's uh, hopefully he checks in in time for that because we've got the same forfeit rules in place for Salt Mine 3 finals. So Drally's he's failed at the first hurdle today. Hopefully, uh, if he has done enough and made it, uh, we do get to see him next uh, next week. Yeah, apologies to all of the casters who were supposed to have Drally matches today because uh, they've just probably been sitting... Um, <laughs> Probably just been sitting watching. Yeah, here we go into game five for Zen versus Nas. The first sweep on the cards for Zen. And he starts off perfectly with an air dribble over the top of Nas. Nas having a really difficult time reading Zen in these last few games.
this really would hurt Nas's confidence. You know, I talked about how I don't think that he's going to be too bothered by a cross-server loss, but the two losses he's had today, well, assuming that this is a loss for Nas, would absolutely give Nas something to worry about going into next week's Salt Mine 3 Finals, because this is this is these players' last match before Salt Mine 3 Finals next week. They're both going to be in it. Um, but you'd rather, you know, go into that with a win, not a loss, especially since there's a good chance both, well, one of these guys will start in the lower bracket. I think Zen's going to be starting in the lower bracket of the Saltman 3 Finals. Nas probably going to be in the upper bracket. We'll confirm that at the end of the EU matches today. Wave dash cut from Nas. Back Zen up. Zen looking speedy in the setup for his next attempt on goal. Goes for a ground play. He's got the option of multiple shooting angles. Picks a good one. Zen 2-1. Full volley to the top shelf. And he just looks more dangerous on the ball right now, Zen, than he did in the first two games. The accidental crossbar shots seem to be a thing. He's not really too worried about anymore. Good positioning by Nas. If he advanced there, Zen would have bumped him out of position. So he avoided that by just holding. Um, his car in the same place. Nas looking for the air dribble bump. Zen once again stops him. Since your dribble bump defense today has been absolutely world class. A nice little cut and pop to the top corner. Test Snass again. You know, honestly, with the boost that Zen had in that position, he won't be too upset about how that went. Now he's stolen Nass's boost with a pre flip to advance into the back corner. Almost got a demo on Nass as well. He's now looking for the wall shot. That's going to be pretty easy for Zen to handle that one. Escapes the incoming demo and puts himself up 3 1. Nas motionless in the midfield while Zen gets away from him. And that does look like a little bit of tilt from Nas. You know, talking to apparently Jack about this in the one series we casted together from the promo relegation tournament. You know, that's one thing that he agrees is pretty clear. Is if your opponent's not moving, then there's a very good chance that they're tilted. Can Zen add more salt to the wood? No, it will be crossbar. A quick challenge, a confident challenge by Zen. Forces Nas back for the time being. Nas now advancing again into a shooting position, but Zen's post pinched a shot on target. Not quite. Has he got the rebound though? Yes, he does. Zen sets himself up with a post pinch save. He just narrowly missed Nas's goal directly. And then he beats Nas to the rebound to go up 4 1. Zen looks back, ladies and gentlemen. Nas starting to struggle. He had a perfect day yesterday, 3-0, even beating TRK pretty comfortably, but today has been a different story. Lost to Naipo, now losing to Zen, who's struggled for his form, and it's now 5-1. Nas cannot stop Zen's advance. He's trying just about everything here. He's faked a challenge, he's looped around. Zen is one step ahead the entire way. Still a long way to go in game five for Nas. If he can start to put together some strong kickoff plays, he will, of course, have a chance to come back. But Zen has won this one. Bumps Nas away from the play, collects the ball again, and slides it right past him effortlessly. The control from Zen is simply sublime. And once again, Nas has been outplayed. That's a real problem for Nas in this. Zen comeback is that he, he's getting outplayed so often and that's not probably not just a problem for Nas but a problem for the whole world of 1v1 because if Zen is outplaying one player good chance those outplays are going to work against just about anyone still such a unique player such a creative player when it comes to creating outplay positions and actually executing on them Zen backs off easily saves Nas's flip reset attempt. Again catches the ball. He's just had such a good first touch in this fifth game. Zen with the reset. Wants to double mine game Nas. The dunk has deflected wide. Still boost steel lands for Zen. Strong 50-50. Nas has to be careful. Gets demoed. He wasn't careful. Now a half flip from Zen. Gives him an opportunity to go up 7-1. And Nas spawned to the far side with absolutely no chance to get back. Well, this is 
It's really unbelievable. Just when you think you've seen it all from Zen, he comes back from a very disappointing start to a series and completely takes over. 6-1. Forcing Nas to forfeit in game three. And in game four, it was 9-4 for Zen. Now it's 7-2 in game five. Still a long time to go, and that's a nice fake 50-50 by Nas, but this really has been one of the best three-game streaks that we've seen anyone produce against Nas, who, like I said earlier, is difficult to get consistent results against. He's very awkward to play against. Hold on a second here. Zen's just left the ball and left the net open. Suddenly it's gone from 7-1 to 7-3. And six goal comebacks are extremely rare, even in 1v1. But if you're going to come back from six goals down, it does help to have a lot of time left on the clock. And that still does have a lot of time left to work with, and a reset to work with as well. A very strong 50 and a fourth goal. Well, well, well. Nas is not done just yet. That's an extremely strong mid-air 50-50 to make it a three-goal difference. And look how much time's left. Suddenly, it looks more than winnable. Nas doesn't even need to take excessive risks of this kind of scoreline remaining. There's a timeline remaining, I should say. Delayed kickoff for Nas. Zen on the wrong side of the ball, but he gets a clean demo. That's huge for Zen. He can actually just dribble the ball back here. That would be hilarious to see against Nas. Zen instead prefers to shoot, keep Nas. At bay, sidewall double attempt from Zen. It was very close, but defended well by Nas. And that does allow Nas to counter. Another flip reset for him. He absolutely rips into the bar. Oh my word. How did Nas hit it that fast? And he calls GG's. <laughs> Nas just absolutely boomed the bar. I mean, fair play. If that went in, that would have been... On, well, if that was on target, there's no way he's saving it, but he's up, absolutely ripped it in the crossbar and ends up getting reverse swept. Zen has done it. Three overall very convincing wins against Nas. That could be huge. Even if he hasn't done enough to lock in a top four seed for Salt Mine 3 finals, that's going to be massive for Zen's confidence. That's going to be massive for his confidence, I should say, because uh, he was really struggling today. And he's been struggling all, um, all of stage three. But, uh, yeah, beating Nas in that fashion, not something a lot of players have been able to do, even when Nas is in the come -up. Never mind now when he's looked better than ever. But Zen, doing Zen things once again. He gets his third series win for the group. That's also... Uh, that's going to put him on a level with Nas in terms of series win-loss. But I think Nas still has the edge on him in the overall group standings because uh, he, he started off much better. Zen got swept twice for us. Nas uh, in his losses did get two wins both times. So yeah, unless uh, yeah, it looks like it looks like Nas is still going to be well clear of Zen when it comes to game win loss differential. Uh, but if Naipo and TRK can win their last round matches against uh, well, TRK is playing Stizzy and Naipo is playing Toxic, then it is going to be the Falcons uh, duo who are taking the top two spots in the group. TRK's win loss in games is miles better than uh, Naipo as well. So he's of course the heavy favorite to take the top spot and the 10 points that you get for winning uh, a group in this stage. Ajorius has actually pulled Moxie all the way back to game five, by the way, and Atto has pulled Vatira back to game five. So although we're done here with the reverse sweep, uh, Zen against Nas, there's actually a chance that Jorius reverse sweeps Moxie. That's happening uh, right now. And uh, Vatira could be getting reverse swept by Atto as well. So it's all happening right now. Jorby is uh, currently live, I believe, with, uh, or uh, yeah, it's, it's Jorby who's live with Vatira Versato. And actually, I can confirm Vatira has denied the reverse sweep there. So Vatira ices it in five. But Jorby's versus Moxie is still going on right now. That's on Corelli's channel.